Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, the target natin ngayon is on how to add the similar fractions. So I will use three different methods kung paano tayo mag-add ng dalawang fractions. Kaya ang maging title nito ay Addition of Fractions Three Ways. Itong topic na to, o itong vlog na to, ay inspired by Ninong Rai. By the way guys, if for those students na hindi kilala si Ninong Rai, he's a food vlogger na kung saan gumagawa siya ng um, different dishes or three ways, three, three different dishes gamit ang isang ingredient. So, I hope na matutunan niyo yung different ways natin on how to add fractions. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, we have here... 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. Ang target natin dito ay i-add yung dalawang fractions and as you can see, they're considered as the similar fractions dahil magkaiba yung kanilang denominators. Yung iba kasi, nahihirapan sila dito kung paano mag-add ng anong klaseng fraction because um, natatakot sila or hindi nila alam yung method na gagamitin. So, gawin natin ngayon dito, I will introduce Three different methods kung paano ba mag-add ng dissimilar fractions. Yung unang-unang method natin ay yung classical way o yung conventional way on how to add fractions. So let's have the first method. Yung classical way natin guys ay yung paggamit ng least common denominator or yung tinatawag natin LCD. So to start with, kailangan natin makuha yung least common multiple of 4 and 3. Yung least common multiple natin ay, ang gagawin ko rito, I will use the listing method. So the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. Ang target natin dito, makuha natin kung saan sila una magiging parehas ng multiples. As for number 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. And as you can see, their least common multiple is 12. So, ang LCM nila is 12. Now, yung LCM na to, this will serve as the least common denominator. So, ito magiging process natin. You have one fourth plus two over three, and your least common denominator is twelve. What you will do is you will divide twelve by four. Twelve divided by four is equal to three times one. That will give you three again. Twelve divided by four. That is three times one. That will give you three plus. 12 divided by 3, that is 4, times 2, that will give you 8. Again, let me repeat. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2, that is 8. And adding your numerator, 3 plus 8, that is 11 over 12. Ito mismo sagot natin. If you add 1 over 4 plus 2 over 3 using the first method. Now guys, expect nyo na na kailangan if matapos natin yung second method natin at yung third method natin, magiging same yung answer natin which is 11 over 12. Now let's move on in the second method. For the second method, copying 1 fourth plus 2 over 3. Ang gamit natin dito, guys, uh, yung para sa ating second method, alam naman natin na yung kanilang least common multiple ay 12. At kasi, guys, mas madali mag-add ng fractions kapag same yung kanilang denominator. So, for the second method, ang target natin ay maging pares yung kanilang denominator na from 4 and 3, magiging pares sila at magiging 12 sila. 
So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito guys, isipin natin, ano yung mamultiply natin by 4 to make it 12? Alam naman natin ang sagot ay 3. So, we will multiply 4 by 3. Eh sir, okay lang po ba yan? Hindi okay yan. Dapat, i-multiply din natin yung denominator natin by 3. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. Para nag-multiply lang tayo ng 1, kay 1 fourth. Plus, we have 2 over 3, wherein isipin natin ngayon, anong number yung i-multiply natin kay 3 to make it 12? And that is 4. So we will, we will multiply this by 4 as well as your numerator. So simplify lang natin, 1 times 3 is 3 over 4 times 3, that is 12. And now, plus 2 over 4, which is 8, over 4 times 3, or 3 times 4, that is 12. And as you can see, meron silang same denominator. Kapag same ang denominator, you can simply copy the denominators, kasi similar fractions sa sila. We have here 12. And as for your denominator, you have 3 plus 8, which is 11. As you can see, gamit yung second method natin, parehas siya naging sagot natin gamit yung method number 1. So, meron na tayong two ways on how to add the similar fractions. Punta naman natin yung third method natin. As for the third method, ang ginagawa nito, we have 1 over 4 plus 2 over 3. Ang ginagawa nito guys ay gumagamit tayo ng multiplication. Yung iba, uh, they're calling it butterfly method. Pero tayo, ito lang tayo. First, multiply your denominators. Multiply them. So you have here, 4 times 3, which is 12. Next step is to multiply 1 and 3. 1 times 3 is simply 3. Next, multiply 4 and 2. So we have plus 8. As you can see, parehas na siya. In which, 3 plus 8, that will give you 11 over 12. And ito na yung masagot natin. As you can see guys, gamit yung 3 different methods in adding 1 fourth plus 2 third ay nakuha tayo ng pare-pare sa sagot. I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin on how to add the similar fractions using three ways. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gohan. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.